have a look at Gemini today and this is from the Undisputed Attitude album by Slayer and yeah that's the last track of the album and uh, and I know a lot of people don't like this album uh, I didn't like it in the beginning but then I, you know, I listened to it like 20-30 times and suddenly I started to like it so give it a go if you don't like it you know put it on uh, repeat in your headphones for 20 times and you will like it I, I think, well, I think some of the, you will probably change your mind. Okay, anyway, uh, Gemini. That's the only song on this album that is not, that is not in E-flat standard. This in D-flat standard tuning. So we have a D-flat. Um, okay, so we can have D-flat, G-flat, and the B. On those three bass strings. You don't need any other strings if you don't play the guitar solos. Uh, which I will not do, by the way, but uh, that's all you need, basically. Uh, so, uh, and the D flat standard, yeah, that's three half steps down, right? On all the strings. Uh, right, so. So, you're gonna open with this um, E power chord, and you're gonna hold it for two bars, and gradually you're gonna lower the whammy bar, so you kind of come to like a very quiet stop, sort of, at the end of that second bar. Kind of like that, okay? And at the end of that second bar, uh, mute the strings with your right hand, maybe, uh, or with your left hand. I prefer to mute the strings with, you know, with this fleshy part of my right hand. Uh, so I basically touch the strings. Uh, you, you can't really see it, maybe, but if I exaggerate it a little bit, it's gonna be like this. And then I mute the strings like this, right? Kind of. Uh, but try to make as small movement as possible, uh, so you will. That will facilitate your playing a little bit. Um, right, Spaghetti does, does that. And then in the third bar, you do the same thing, but over one bar only, okay? Uh, and then in the fourth bar, you're gonna play E to F power chords. Uh, so. Uh, like this. So the tricky part here is to mute the strings, you know, after you lower the bar. Uh, mute the strings, release the bar, and then play the chords R right after that. So you have to do it very quickly in, you know, a split of a second more or less, uh, without having this effect kind of. Okay, you don't want to hear this jumping like this, uh, even if you can hear it a little bit here and there in, in the recording, but you. That's not what you want. You kind of want to mute, mute the strings, release the bar, and then play a chord. Try to do it as quickly as possible, right? Uh, and that's kind of the tricky part of this song, I guess. Uh, but you, it's not that it's not that difficult. All right. <laughs> and after that, yeah, it's kind of straightforward from now on. It's uh, second line is this. That riff, right? So straightforward. Uh, you know, keep the E or D flat uh, ringing open as you play those melody notes on the A string. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, straightforward, right? Um, then here, uh, side two, we have the verse riff, and basically it's the same as on the previous side. And you play that four times, and after that we have this. Yeah. Screwed up the second part, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. And yeah, and then you're gonna come to the chorus riff, scale slide three. Right, and then you have. Play it one more time with the other ending. Okay, and then you return to this kind of verse riff in the final four bars. Right? And 
and if you can read my little notes above the tab, uh, uh, first of all, at the end of the first line, uh, so there, there are two guitars playing different things here. So the first guitar goes like, you can see in the tab, this. Then the second guitar plays something else, it's going go like this. Okay, so a bit slower. Okay, so E, uh, zero to one, and D two, and then A two, quarter note, okay, so not eight note, but quarter note. And then they end, I think, on this kind of trill from open A to first fret on A, kind of like that, right? So, so that's the first ending, and then in the second ending, um, the second guitar goes, like this, right? So, and this is all eight notes until the drill, which is a quarter note. Right, and but everything else, I think they play the same. I mean, except for those ending bars. All right, then slide four, we are back to the verse riff, and it's the same as before. Um, basically, um. Uh, when you play it the fourth time, okay, um, because you're gonna repeat that line four times, right? Uh, you're gonna have a slightly different ending, and uh, it's actually the same riff as in the previous verse, but they don't they don't mute the E strings now. Uh, I don't know why. It kind of sounds like that anyway. Uh, but otherwise, it's the same riff, so it's like right. It's the same thing, but without palm muting. Uh, right, and then you go to the next string, uh, next string, next slide, and um, and now they go back to palm muted E's again. So it's like okay, and here again it's the same riff as before, as on the previous slide, with palm muting now. Okay. But the final bar, uh, you know, on the previous slide we played this, right? But here we're gonna do uh, like ascending all the way, kind of, instead of going backwards, right? If you know what I mean. So instead of going uh, 4, 3, 3, 1, you're gonna go 1, 3, 3, 4 on those power chords uh, uh, in that final bar. Uh, so that's the only difference between this line and the previous line. Palm muting and kind of reversed bar, reverse power chord you know, uh, riff. And after that, you have two beats uh, of silence, okay? And then the guitar solos kick in. So here uh, on the slide six, we have the backing riffs. So the first riff is exactly the same as the intro riff, basically. Okay, three times on that, and then in the next slide, same riff but a bit different ending. You have this, right? So, right, and in the second line, we have the uh, chorus riff, but the ending, uh, the final bar is a bit different than. Um, before, so instead of those melodies, they're just gonna do. Sorry. Alright. So the whole riff will be. This. So, and you play that line twice, and right after that, you hit short E power chord, which we have on the next slide. Uh, slide 7. And here the bass will play a kind of a bass riff without guitars for 8 bars basically. And everything is speed us up right now, right? And then in the second line, guitars kick in.
and you have this way for going in, right? So yeah, straightforward, right? Uh, sorry if I screwed up a note here and there, but uh, <laughs> that's the rib basically. And then starting on slide eight, we are entering the ending riffs, and they are quite different from anything else we played so far. So we're gonna have. <coughs> this so the first bar is just to you know screw with people with the people's minds they they have only three beats in that first bar so it's gonna be this and after that we have four four meters all the way so um yes that's the first line right and uh, the second line is Almost the same. Uh, the first three bars are the same. Um, of course, except for the first bar, we, where we have four beats instead of three beats, but otherwise it's the same. And then in the final bar, we have something different, so it's uh, different from the first line. Okay, so you have yeah, you have to memorize the little difference there. And then in the next slide, slide 9, um, the first line goes like this. Uh, so here, uh, if you compare this line with the previous slides, you notice that it's actually made up of uh, bar f bars 3 and 4 from line 1 and line 2. They kind of put together the two halves uh, from the previous slide together, so to speak. So if that helps you to memorize this riff, then yeah, you know what to play. And then the final line... Uh, give this. So here, the first bar is uh, the same as in the other uh, lines. Then we we'll have... This and then the final couple of bars are quite different. Something like that. Uh, I should note that, uh, or I should mention that the final bar is kind of hard to hear exactly what they are doing there, but it sounds kind of like something like that. But a quick pull off from first fret to open E, then quick pan muted E, and then. E ball chord after that, so like okay, kind of like that. Um, yeah, and that's uh, <laughs> that's that. And finally, slide ten, we have the uh, we are ending the song exactly as we started it, uh, but now we play this riff three times. <laughs> okay, yeah, three times on that riff. And that will be the end of Gemini, so I hope you liked this lesson and yeah, have fun with that.